Today, I'm gonna to really quickly show you guys how you can create this sick camera warp fisheye effect in Premiere Pro. Let's go. What's up guys, my name is Evan Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today, as I mentioned, I'm gonna teach you guys how you can create this sick fisheye effect. Now this effect really isn't an effect and it's more of a look and it's usually recreated with a real fisheye lens, which is also just known as eight to 10 millimeter lens. Now, depending what you're shooting on, fisheye lenses can be expensive for like real DSLR cameras, but I also recommend that you check out like Amazon and they have a bunch of really low cost fisheye lens, which you can check out in the link in the description. But I do really recommend you getting a real authentic fisheye lens at one point, it's just really cool to have in your arsenal of gear is a great way to create some dope effects and different looks. But if you've already shot your video project, don't worry, you can create it virtually using Premiere Pro really quickly. So let's go hop right into the tutorial. All right, guys, so now that we are inside of Premiere Pro, the first thing that we're going to do is we're come here to our effects and we're going to search for the lens distortion effect, which is under the distort effect. And then I'm just going to simply apply this to our video. We are going to increase the curvature to about 100. Very important, we are going to nest it. I have my nesting key set to N, or you can just right click it and then you're just going to hit the nest icon just name it whatever you want to name it and then we're just going to take that same lens distortion effect and we're going to apply it just once again one more time to the curvature and apply that to 100 again and now you're going to see we have a really warped up trippy looking video we're going to increase the scale all the way to like 150 160 ish whatever scale to your video fits the entire frame of the scale and now what you're going to do is we are going to use this fisheye overlay effect that i actually created myself which i've linked below in the description now this is better i'm serious this is better than any other masking or any other video tutorial you're gonna find out there on YouTube because I made it special to like actually match like the RGB edges of, of the fisheye lens effect um I don't know it's cool mine's is better so definitely just it's free just check the link in the description you can just go download it and voila there you have it a dope looking fisheye lens effect there's just so many layers that you can apply to this of course I always like to add a film scratch effect sometimes depending on the video which I have right here you could just literally search up film scratch layer on Google and you could you will find this this is it's really easy. If you set this opacity to just a very low value, like 36%, you have a dope looking fisheye lens effect. And one last thing I do to spice up this video is add some camera shake. So I'm just gonna select all these layers and nest them all together once again. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some of our custom 11% handheld shake effects. Search for and apply 11% shake out zoom effect right here, which is part of our new 11% shake it up preset pack, which if you're interested, you can go ahead and check out the link below in the description. Just makes it feel a lot more natural. Like I said, there's so many layers to this. I recommend you go add film burns, more textures, camera shakes, just a bunch of stuff to make your fisheye lens effect crazy. And if it's all not enough, just go out please and just buy your own fisheye lens. It's, it's not that expensive. And with that, here's the final result. If you guys made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. Really, if you found any value or help from this video, please, if you could really just smash the like button, hit subscribe for me. It's free. All this content is free. So really, it means so much to me in this channel. Definitely make sure to check out the link in the description, 11percent.net. If you're looking to spice up your music video game by adding that artificial camera movement or any 3D Chrome assets, we just dropped those packs. They're really insane and they really just help me edit a lot faster. So I definitely recommend you check it out. And also, yeah, if you're looking to join our Discord community, it's really fun there. We're giving away a bunch of prizes all the time so definitely make sure to check out the link in the description once again i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>